Well, I want to introduce you now to one of the fine people from General RV who's with us today. Um, he is uh, um, Jeff, Jeff Radke, the National Sales Director for uh, the 13 super centers that you have around the country. And I was thinking about how our programs on public television, different programs attract different audiences. And I imagine that with all the different kinds of RVs that there are, you meet, meet, uh, you meet, meet the needs of different kinds of people. Absolutely. We yeah. have, we have uh, RV owners and customers, longtime customers of ours, and first-time customers that are just getting into the RV lifestyle. And their needs are vastly different. Some some are looking for something very lightweight that they can tow with their everyday vehicle, where uh -huh. others have uh, purposely bought a, a truck to tow a, a big fifth wheel or a large toy hauler around throughout the country. And then we have a number of folks that buy motorhomes, and maybe they spend even more time away from away from their base camp and and uh, maybe snowbird and winter down in Arizona or or Florida and. I was thinking weather might be a big a big factor in a decision that somebody makes. Absolutely. Um, probably also if you have pets too, that would be that would be a reason why traveling like yes, that would be. Yes, absolutely. Yeah? A lot of people with pets have a very hard time uh, finding uh, the ability to get away, uh -huh. and RVing allows them to bring their pets with them. Uh, all of our stores are pet friendly. We have a number of our RV customers that bring their pets when they come to select an RV. One of the things that we deal with at Detroit Public Television is changes in technology. You know, we make our programs available to people to watch uh, no longer just on TV, but online. Right. Technology, I imagine, is a big part of the RV world, too. It is a big part, not only in the way they're, they're produced and some of the small bits of technology, like flat screen televisions and things, but uh, now you can get satellite uh, Wi-Fi and Internet. So we have people that can work remotely that could have never worked remotely from their RV before that are spending more and more time out in the outdoors and <laughs> unplugging but staying plugged in. <laughs> well, that's, that's, and that's just it. People have different needs and you've got different ways to satisfy them. That's what we try to do too. I find, I, I'm interested in how other businesses run because I know that we can all learn from each other. Absolutely. Because the, the, the bottom line is we've got to keep our, our folks happy. All of our customers. Thank you for checking challenging tonight. Thank you. And uh, let's make more great television programming possible. Thanks to the folks from General RV. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yeah. And I have back with me the uh, uh, National Sales Director for General RV, Jeff Radke. And uh, I, we really appreciate all of you staying around this evening through, and helping us raise the dollars for public TV. Well, it's really our pleasure, Dan. We, we feel very strongly, and, and for myself and my, my family, um, I was introduced to public television as a, as a young lad with programs like Sesame Street and I think locally maybe even the electric company here in mm -hmm. Detroit. Yeah. Um, and my children were, were exposed to public television with programs like Arthur. And now uh, a lot of my, myself and uh, my family enjoy some of the documentaries on, on public television. So it's our pleasure to, to give back and my team is doing a great job over on the phones. Yeah, you're making it possible. That's the thing, each person can feel like you're really a part of this. Well, as I was listening to the concert with the Doobie Brothers, I, I was thinking about General RV, and I was thinking like music and RVs, they kind of seem like they go together. Absolutely, uh, absolutely they do, Dan. Uh, and it's changed a lot over the years from whether it be a guitar around the campfire or now Bluetooth connected devices in the, in the RV, both uh, exterior speakers and interior speakers. Uh, even right down to being able to play right from your phone, uh, your playlist of the Doobie Brothers or, mm -hmm. or maybe the Three Tenors or one of your <laughs> other programs that you featured on PBS here in Detroit. So the industry has changed to keep up with the times and, and General RV has too? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, you know, some of the RVs even uh, connectivity through your phone where you can check the fuel level, check the uh, uh, climate in it and make sure it's ready to go when you're ready to hit the road. Mm. Yeah, because you want because when you want to hit the road, you want to hit the you road. Want to go. <laughs> well, uh, we and we think about that a lot in Michigan. Earlier, we had the program about Mackinac Island, and and a lot of people, you know, just like to to drive and experience this wonderful country. And and you guys are a part of that, and we're a part of it in in showing it to you and here taking you to a concert in in New York City. So, Jeff, I really appreciate you coming in with your whole team tonight. It's it's really great having you. Thank well, you. We've had a great time. Thank you for having us. We okay. appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking, I, Jeff is still with me, and we were kind of, I don't know, reminiscing, but so much fantasizing about travel and RVs. And I was thinking about, you know, each of us from a different age, uh, from different generations or different families, families where you, the, the kids grow up with it and others where they get introduced later. What are, what are some of the kind of RV memories that you people know, are having nowadays? That's, that's a great question. We, we find a lot, of, a lot of our families that, that have bought from us over the years, we, we're 
we're selling their third generation of RV owners and they've grown up in the lifestyle um, with their parents or grandparents, whether it's uh, quick trips during the summer while they're off school, or some of you know some of the grandparents are taking uh, trips to Alaska with with other couples or, or families with RVs and kind of caravanning um, and taking trips of their lifetime. And it's really enjoyable to be a part of it and to help them find the right RV to do it in. Yeah, and you never forget these these memories. Um, and music is a part of that. That's, that's that's another thing. I guess it just gets me thinking about. Um, you know, sort of, it, make, it makes you reminisce. You, you hear music, you remember where you were at a given time. You mix that in with travel, and uh, those memories, no one can take those from you. No, absolutely. <laughs> Sitting around the campfire and enjoying family, and long before there was social media, there was campfire media. And that was a great time to find out what was going on in your community. Well, help make your community a better place by making public television stronger and able to bring you programming that you want to see and in the ways that you want to see it. You may want to see the Doobie Brothers live when they come to DTE Energy Theater. You can have that experience. Our thank you gift to you for a $300 contribution is a pair of tickets. Or you may want them on CD or DVD. We have all of those uh, available for you at the different giving levels. For $40 or more, you'll get our, our program guide, so at least you'll know about the programs that you're making possible. And um, oh, just all sorts of good reasons to support, but also it's going to be matched thanks to General RV. So thank you. All right. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Yep.